Good morning. Uh, what can God think of us when we treat his just ways of dealing with humans with contempt? Our reading today is from Jeremiah chapter 34, verses, verses 8 to 11. Let's see what they say. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord after King Zedekiah had made a covenant with all the people who were at Jerusalem to proclaim liberty to them. That every man should set free his male and female slave, a Hebrew man or woman, that no one should keep a Jewish brother in bondage. Now, when all the princes and all the people who had entered into the covenant heard that everyone should set free his male and female slaves, that no one should keep them in bondage anymore, they obeyed and let them go. But afterward, they changed their minds and made the male and female slaves return whom they had set free and brought them into subjection as male and female slaves. Now, we're going to actually have to wait till tomorrow morning to see God's answer to this, because these are long slices here. But let's think about this. God made clear his will about male and female servants and slaves a long time ago. Seven years is the maximum they can serve. There's a whole system for them to be released. It's back there in the book of Leviticus and Exodus. You can look at that. But now, zoom forward to the time of Jeremiah and Zedekiah, and here we are in this emergency with Babylon, incoming armies from Babylon to, to uh, come into the land, and somebody gets the bright idea, hey, you know, we've really been disobeying God on this uh, female servants thing and, and male servants. We haven't been letting them go at the end of seven years. Why don't we re consider releasing them, and maybe that will increase the odds, you know, God will feel a lot better about us. Somebody came up with some kind of a thought like that. They decided to do it. Hey, we're going to release our male and female servants now. I think God will notice. So they actually thought it out. They also actually worked it out, actually did it. The scripture tells us they actually followed through and let them go. But then we come to this terrible verse 11. But afterward, they changed their minds. I mean, there's no elaboration. There's no uh, telling how it was that they let him go and then and went and dragged him back in. Uh, it, it's so whimsical that they've just turned around and went back. And Zedekiah is not even really mentioned here anymore. Uh, he, he basically had no part in this. He, he, he's, he's just bowing to whatever the, the group, the mob of people want him to do. The priests, the, the, the false prophets, and, and the whole crew there of elders and everybody in charge in that kingdom and King's just kind of going along with them. So they all went back. They all reneged on their deal. When you remember what we read in the previous morning yesterday, this was a covenant they made with him. I mean, they actually went through a whole process and said, God, we're in this covenant with you. And then they just flipped and, and turned it all back around. I mean, what else could they do that would show more contempt? Contempt for their own decisions, contempt for the God of heaven, contempt for their servants and slaves. And uh, just contempt for their own word. Just, oh, we're going to go back. We're not going to do this after all. And drag them back in here. And now, you know, if God wasn't unhappy before, and he was, but now they've put themselves out in an agreement with him, and now they've reneged on that in his face. I mean, what can you say? Anyway, at that point, let's go ahead and pause, and let's, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, help us learn to respect you and respect each other for our own good. Uh, Lord, we want to be right, but you know how we are. We need a steady hand. We need to be uh, self-disciplined and be following you day by day, seeking your will day by day. And uh, Lord, without your spirit, we're liable to go all in one day and all out the next. Uh, so please help us, Lord, and help us not to manifest what uh, the kingdom of Judah did. At their crisis uh, height of their emergency hour, they just basically went totally offensive to you and then changed their mind. So I'm glad we're not there in their day. Help us to be right. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. So sadly, this, this episode, rather than being confirmation that, hey, you know, the people are actually repenting a little bit, this is just confirmation that the, uh, the main institutions of that culture, the kingdom of Judah, they've all gone out and are corrupt and and God does need to do exactly what he's doing. He's going to overturn and overturn. He's going to overturn them all before he can bring them back into harmony with himself. It's a rough day to be a leader when you're that wishy-washy. God help us not to be wishy-washy. God be with you today in all that you do.